Hello everybody and welcome back to Shanika Owens TV. In this video, I will be sharing my CVS haul for the week of December the 18th through December the 24th. Now, I did a total of four transactions and between all four, I saved $231.57. I paid a total of only $10.78 out of pocket with ECBs and offers this week making each item only 26 cents each i did have one issue with coupons beeping and i will explain to you guys in the video about that situation but i did have to improvise with a deal and it came out to be really a really good deal so if you guys are not subscribed to this channel make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and if you are subscribed to this channel make sure your notification bells are on so you'll be notified when i post a new video and please give the video a big thumbs up, share the video, and comment down below. But if you guys want to see how my CVS haul turned out this week, then definitely keep on watching. Okay, guys, this is my CVS haul for the week of December the 18th through December the 24th. Now, I know Christmas is Sunday. I'm not sure if my store is even open on Sunday, but if it is, I probably will go in and do a few deals and post a little small haul on Sunday. If it's not open, um, I probably will have my haul on Monday. I'll have to see uh, what's going to be going on with CVS if they're open or not. But today, I did a total of four transactions. I'm only working with two CRTs that printed on the end of my receipt. My other two accounts got 32% off CRTs. I did not do that deal. I was gonna do the Bona um, deal, spend 20, get 10, and use the 32% off, but my store was not priced high enough for me to get the um, that mop. So I will check tomorrow at my other CVS store because I know they are priced higher and use my 32% off to get that mop for the Bona uh, deal. But other than that, everything worked out as planned. I did have uh, my Dove printable coupons that did beep. It told me I did not have the, um, I, they didn't sell me the correct item or something like that on the registry. It did read, I didn't get the correct product or something. But I know last week those coupons came with no problem. This week, those coupons gave me issues and I want to use those coupons because they are expired and I cannot use them next week because they're going to be two past expir expiration date. And I want to take advantage of the fetch offer. So um, with that being said, um, printable announcements. Printable coupons did not have a ton. I think it were a couple that you guys can print. I know I saw Colgate. And I forgot what else I saw on coupons.com. But there's not a ton of new ones from what I checked before I left to go to CVS. Second announcements, instant CRTs. I will put them on the screen for you guys. I did not use any of my instant CRTs for this week. And... um. Third announcement, there's a third this week. My store uh, was informed that they cannot do like overrides or like fix any issues. So today, because my Dove $1.50 off printables, only one scan in each transaction, I did do it three times to take advantage of that Dove deal and that CRT, those coupons and fetch. But like I said, one beeped in each transaction. Not sure why. I did have to mix and match the Dove. I grabbed a different shampoo and a different conditioner. That probably has something to do with it, but I'm not 100% sure. But she did issue me a $5 ECB for all three transactions on one card. She did not want to do it on each card because they were told they can't fix any issues anymore. So she did not want to get flagged of doing separate ECBs on different cards. So she only gave me a $5 ECB for all three transactions, which was only for 50, but she gave me five. So when I explain my CVS transactions, one of the Dove coupons beat and just know that I was received. I did get an ECB for each transaction on one card, if that makes sense. So I want to get that explanation out of the way. So in the future, my store probably cannot help me out with those type of issues like printable coupon issues. I'm not sure about other issues, but with coupons not coming off, they won't be able to assist me. So I do appreciate them helping me as long as they did before they got the notice to stop overriding issues and just, I guess, let it play out. So enough of that. So we're going to go right into my transactions. I did four. So my first transaction, I don't have any, any CRTs, but what I received, I did any Dove hair care. It's buy one, get one, 50% off, buy two, get two. So I picked up two, and you can see I did show the clip. My store was completely out of Dove hair care. 
because we had that really good deal last week as well. So one was $529, half off at $264. Both sold me $793. I did have two of those dollar fifty off the product printables. And like I told you guys, one beep. I did receive the ECB for that one beeping. I used that two out two dub CRT from last week. So I paid $293. Got back to two, plus I got $2,500 on fetch, making those free, and a $1.57 moneymaker. Then I did the trial and travel items. They are spent 15 get three, and there are items that are excluded. So be careful and read the ad. I think it was Aquaphor and some other products that were excluded, but Cetaphil is included. So at uh, it's been 15 and 3. So I picked up three of the Cetaphil lotions. Now they did have the moisturizer. I picked those up as well. And you guys are probably wondering why I did not pick up the cheaper ones all at once at 419. My husband does like the cleanser, so that's why I got half and half. So I picked up four of the Cetaphil travel lotions at 419. All four totaled me 1676. I used four of those four dollars off Cetaphil product printable coupons. So I paid 76 cents, but I got back three for spending 15, making all four of those free in a $2.24 moneymaker. Then I did a combined snack deal. So with the cheeses, Nabisco, or Keebler, or the crackers, they are two for three, buy two, get a dollar. I combined that with the Oreo cookies, are two for eight, buy two, get two. So I picked up two of the Oreo cookies, two for eight, two of the Nabisco Oreos at uh, two for three, totaling me eleven dollars. I did receive a three off ten snack any sn snack item CRT. Now, guys, I did get this on my car. I did not even know I had this on my car. I was checking my CRTs, uh, what I was um uh, before I did my deals video, and this appeared. So it just was sent to me on my car via CVS. So I used that three off ten any snack item CRT. So I paid eight, but I got back. A dollar for buying two of the smaller one, Nabisco Oreo. And I got back um, two for buying two of the large Oreo cookies. So I paid the eight and got back the um, three, making it $5 for all four or one twenty-five dollars each. And that is not bad, especially because I did get the, um, the bigger uh, things of the Oreo cookies. So for this transaction, it was supposed to be $11.69 pay out of pocket. But because that Dove coupon uh, beeped, she did issue me the ECB for it. So it brought my total to $13.19. But I'm going to include that I did pay $11.69 since she gave me back the ECB for the Dove. So I paid $11.69 and I got back a total of $8 in ECBs. I got back two for buying two of the Dove. I also got back... So I had to do my math. So I did pay eleven sixty nine. I got back eight dollars in ECBs. I got back two for the Dove. I also got back three for spending fifteen on the travel items, and I got back a dollar for the smaller Oreo and two for the big Oreo. So that's eight dollars in ECBs. Paying eleven sixty nine. Plus I got twenty five hundred from Fetch for the Dove products. So it makes this first transaction only a dollar and nineteen cents out of pocket. First transaction, there's the Oreos, the Dove, the Cetaphil. Here are all of my coupons that scan with no issues. My three off ten snack and my two off two Dove hair care. I did pay three oh six plus tax out of pocket. I did not have any lower extra bucks, and plus a dollar fifty did not scan for one Dove product, so I pay a little bit more. And I saved thirty nine sixty four with a ninety three percent saving. Here's the $5 ECB for all three accounts that had an issue with the Dove printables. So she only did it on one account because they no, no longer can help me or anyone with those type of issues. So I got back two for the Dove hair care, dollar for of the two for three Oreos, and two for buying two of the two for eight Oreos, and then three for spending 15 on the travel products, and then more CRTs. Moving right along to my second transaction again, no extra CRTs, only use what I had. So the first thing I did was a uh, Nivea, Nivea Hand and Body Lotion or the Men's Shave exclusive lip care is buy two, get five. But I bought two of the larger items. So I picked up two Nivea lotions at $10.79. Was it $10.79? $10.49. So two totaled me $20.98. I used that four off two Nivea Body Lotion coupon from the 12 11 save insert. That two dollar off digit for Nivea did glitch and I had a four off 20 Hand and Body Lotion CRT. So that's the reason why I picked up two of the larger bottles because I had that CRT. So I paid $10.98, but I got back five for buying two, making it $5.98 for both or just $2.99 each. 
that's not a bad deal guys even though you can grab the cheaper items and get them for cheaper but to get the bigger bottles for $2.99 each is not a bad deal at all then I did the U by Kotex. You can get the liners for the 50 count, the pads for the 16 or tampons, 15 to 16, or buy two to the two dollar ECB. So I picked up two of the 40 count liners at 5.19, totaling me 10.38. I had two of those $1.15 off U by Kotex product printable coupons. I also had a two off six feminine care CRT. So I paid 6.08. I got back the two for buying two. Plus, I submitted my receipt to Fetch and got a 1,000 points for the U by Kotex. And I got $2 for my bottle for buying two of those products. So, it makes them $108 for both or just $0.54 cents each. Then, I did Dove again, Dove Hair Care at buy one, get one 50% off, buy two, get a $2 ECB. So, I picked up two more of those mix and match shampoo and conditioner at $5.29 at my store, half off at $2.64, totaling $7.93. I used two of those $1.50 off the product coupons and one beep. And like I told you guys, I did get an ECB on one account for all of my transactions with the Dove issue. I used that two off two Dove Hair Care CRT from last week. So you'll pay $2.93, get back to two, plus submit to Fetch for 2,500 points for buying two of those products, making those free and a $1.57 moneymaker. Then I could not pass up on this deal. I know you guys are probably tired of toothpaste. So if you guys need mouthwash or toothbrushes, I suggest you grab mouthwash or the toothbrushes. So the Colgate deal it includes the Colgate Total Toothpaste, the mouthwash, optic white stain fighter, and the toothbrushes. Our spend 10, get a $5 ECB limit of two. I max out that deal and I grab four of the Colgate Total Mouthwash. They are $5.29 at my store. So all four total me $21.16. I used three of those 75 cents off Colgate mouthwash coupons from the Colgate website. I also had that 4 out 2 Colgate product digital coupon that glitched and came off as well. And I had a 3 off 18 Colgate or Care CRT. So I paid $11.91. I got back 10 for doing a deal twice, making it $1.91 for all four of those mouthwashes or 47 cents each. And you cannot beat that. So in this transaction, I paid $31.90 out of pocket. But I got back $19 extra care bucks. I got back five for buying two Nivea body lotions. I got back two for buying two you back Kotex. I got back two for buying two of the Dove hair care. And I got back 10 for maxing out that Colgate deal. So I paid $31.90, got back $19 in ECBs. Plus I got 35, 3,579 points on Fetch. That's for you by Kotex and the Dove products. Plus I got $2 from Ibotta for the you by Kotex. So I paid $31.90, got back $19 ECBs. I got 3,579 points from Fetch for the Dove and You by Kotex. And two from my bottom, making this second transaction only $7.33 out of pocket, which in my opinion is not bad at all because I did get some higher priced Nivea lotion and I got some cheap mouthwash. So to pay $7.33 for this second transaction is not bad at all. Second transaction receipt, Dove, you buy Kotex, all of the Colgate mouthwash, and then the Nivea. You can see all of my coupon scan with no issues. That digital for Nivea glitch, the 4 off 2 for Colgate glitch, my 4 off 20 hand and body lotion, 3 off 18 Colgate, 2 off 2 Dove hair care, and my 2 off 6 feminine care CRT. Wrote in all my extra care bucks. I had 10 items to pay for 13 plus tax. It would have been less if the $1.50 Dove printable would have scanned. I saved $58.97 with a 93% savings, and I got back five for uh, buying two of the Nivea, two for buying two of the Dove Hair Care, 10 for maxing out that Colgate deal, and then two for buying two of the Dove Hair Care. I think I got that right. No, two for buying two of the U by Kotex, and then more CRTs print on my receipt. Third transaction is very simple. Um, I want to do the Avisia drops twice, so I have to improvise on my last transaction. So for this transaction, my store only had three, and I want to grab four. But on this one, I grabbed two. And on this account, I'm working with a 4 r 40 But not included with my 4 r 40 I picked up the free December beauty item. I have one more left. The last month to receive those because they are in in this month. I picked up one of the CBS Dry Skin Therapy Lotions at $4.99. Use that CRT, making it free. Now we are moving on to my 4 r 40 CRT transaction because free items don't track towards your spend amount. So for my 4 r 40 CRT, I did the trial and travel size items again at spend 15, get three. 
So this time I picked up four of the Cetaphil cleansers at $4.29. All three totaled me $17.16. I used four of those $4 off Cetaphil product printable coupons. And I did get a comment on my deals video that you can't use. She didn't think you can use coupons on travel items. You cannot use coupons on travel items if the wording specifies excludes travel. If you guys see these Cetaphil coupons, it does not say you cannot use them on travel items. Now, because you know, guys, we use coupons a lot, and some of those coupons will exclude travel items, but the Cedarfield coupons printables do not exclude travel items. So I hope that is helpful for her, and I did explain that in my deals video as well. So, um, then I did for this for our 40, I did the Visa eye drops at buy two, get an eight dollar ECB. So they were priced at eleven seventy nine at my store, and they only had three. Like I said, I want to get four. So two told me twenty five twenty three fifty eight. I did have two of those five dollar off of Visa eye product printable coupons from their website, and then with my travel items at spend fifteen get three, and my Avisa eye drops, my total was forty dollars and seventy four cents. Now I can use my four off forty CRT. So I used my 4 r 40 CRT and all the coupons that I did mention, it brought my final cost to be $10.96 out of pocket. She did forget to scan one of my $3 ECB, well, my $3 ECB that was attached to my card. I'm not sure if it did not pop up, but she did not apply to my transaction. So I paid $10.96, but I got back $11 in ECBs. I got back three for spending $15 on the travel uh, Cedar film. And I got back eight for buying two of the Avisa eye drops. So I paid $10.96. Got back $11 ECBs. Right there is already a freebie and a slight moneymaker. Plus, I did get back $3 times two on I bottle for the Avisa eye drops. So I got back six for my bottle and $11 in ECBs, making this third transaction a freebie and a $6.04 moneymaker. Third transaction receipt my free CVS Health Beauty item, the Cetaphil Avisa eye drops. And then here are all of my coupons, my free beauty item scanned, my 4R40 CRT. I did have $11 in ECBs on my card, but for some reason only the $8 applied and not the three. So we'll have to check on that. But I had nine items. It was supposed to be taxed out of pocket, but I paid $293. I saved $4302 with a 94% savings. I got back eight for buying two of the Avisia eye drops, and I got back three for spending 15 on the travel products. And I got a 10 off 70 on this account. My fourth and final transaction, I record with a 10 off 70 CRT. Now, I forgot to update you guys. I was explaining in my haul video from last week. My issue did get corrected. And I did speak to the manager today. And she said the reason probably why she did not want to correct the issue or attempt to fix the issue was because they were told that they could not fix uh, or override any issues. So if she would have told me that would have been the case i would have not felt some type of way about the situation but she just refused to help regardless so if she would have explained it like she should have like the manager did today i would have known that they could not fix the issue but she just had like a whole little different mood about herself and that put me in a different mood so i just left it alone so now i know that they can't fix or override any issues so i'm just going to leave it at that but still explain the situation instead of like giving me like a little attitude because you see my total is already cheap enough like come on now but it did get corrected guys last week um it did get, did get corrected by not by this manager but another manager at the store so yeah it did get corrected but explain to me why it wasn't why you couldn't help but anyway on this account i had a 10 off 70 crt and it did work this week so with this 10 off 70 crt i did any dove hair care again at buy one get one 50 percent off buy two get two I picked up two more of the Dove hair products that was left at $5.29, half off at 264 totaling me $7.93. I had two of those $1.50 off Dove product printable coupons that one beep. And like I told you guys in previous transactions, I was issued an ECB for all transactions that had the issue. I had that two out two Dove hair care CRT. And again, there is a fetch reward offer for this as well of 2,500 points. So I did any clear out hair color at buy two, get four. I picked up two of the Clairol hair color products at $8.49, totaling me $16.98. I had a Bogo Clairol hair product digital coupon that glitched with a 5 off 2 printable coupon. So those were easy freebie if you guys don't have any threshold CRT. 
Now, I was going to do the Avisa eye drops in this transaction as well at buy to get eight, but I had to improvise, guys. And I did a really good uh, scenario because my store actually had these products. So I did a spend 20 get five deal. Now, normally my store does not have any Scott ever when I'm trying to do the Scott deal. So I was shocked when I found one on the shelf that was turned around and I picked it up. And then I'm like, what else is included with the spend 20 get five? So again, I found two of the last cloud nail that were included. So thank you that I found the products that were included with this deal to do it. So for the spend 20 get five, I picked up two cotton nail at $4.99 and then one Scott toilet paper uh, at $10 because they are two for 20. And that total was $19.98. I only had a $0.70 cents off Scott toilet paper printable coupon from scottbrand.com. Luckily, I do have backups when I go to these stores because you guys have to be improvising with these deals if your store is out of stock. So I'm glad I had that at least $0.70 cents off. Then I did my spend 30 get 10 deal, and that was a really good deal as well. So I picked up, I want to do the game. They did not have any of the big game flings, so I did pick up one of the bounce dryer sheets, the 130 sheets, which was $12.99. And I picked up three of the downy unstoppables at $5.49. So for that deal, it was $29.46. If you guys have a CRT, $29.46 is a 98% rule because 98% of 30 is $29.40. So you will still get back your ECB if you don't have any threshold CRTs, and that's really amazing. So for my spend 30, get 10, I had a two off downy or browns digital coupon i used three of those three dollar off um printables from png good for the downy unstoppable so those scan with no issues so with this 10 off 70 crt it's the dove the clara my spend 30 deal and my spend 20 get five my total prior to any coupons was 74.35 i used my 10 off 70 crt in all coupons mentioned it brought my final cost to be i paid 38.16 so I included the ECB getting back for the dollar fifty. So now I'm at thirty six sixty six. Don't want to confuse you guys. It was originally supposed to be, but I paid thirty eight sixteen. But I got back the ECB in the transaction. So now my total is for the Dove beeping is thirty six sixty six. I got back a total of twenty one dollars in ECBs. I got back two for the Dove hair care, four for the Clorol hair color, ten for spending thirty, and then five for spending twenty. Paid $36.66, got back $21 in ECBs, plus I got back a total of 2,768 points from Fetch for the Dove and the Cotton Nail deal. I got back $0.10 cents for my bottle for any hair color. I got back $3.50 for my bottle for the Mega of the Bounce Dryer Sheets. And I got back a dollar for my bottle for the Scott uh, Toilet Paper. So I paid $36.66. Got back $20 in ECBs and all of them from the Fetch offers and Ibotta. It brought my final cost for this fourth transaction only $8.30 out of pocket. Like, that's amazing, guys. I got a spend 30 deal and a spend 20 get five deal. And it includes paper products. And the final cost is only $8.30. That is really amazing. Last transaction, there's a Scott, there's the Cottonelle, the Bounce Dryer Sheets, all the Downy Beads the Dove hair care, and then the um, nice and easy hair color. Here are all of my coupons that came off. You can see that Clairol digital glitch. My 10 off 70 came off this week. My two off two Dove hair care and all of my extra bucks. And I did pay a little bit more because I told you guys $1.50 off Dove coupon Pete. So I paid $3.05 at 11 items. I saved $89.94 with a 97% savings. And I got back four for buying two of the Clairol. 10 for spending 30 deal, two for the Dove hair care, and five for spending 20 on those products. And I got a four off 40 on this account for next week. So now we're gonna talk our final um, total for my overall haul. So my first transaction, it was 119 out of pocket. My second transaction was only 733 out of pocket. My third with the Avisia and the Cedarfield was a freebie and a $6.04 moneymaker. And my final and fourth transaction was $8.30 out of pocket. So once you combine my $8.30 for my fourth, my $7.33 for my second, and my $119 for my first, that's a total of $6.82 out of pocket. But my third transaction was a freebie and a $6.04 moneymaker. So once you take $16.82 from the $6.04, it makes my overall final total for my haul today only 
ten dollars and seventy eight cents out of pocket. Like that's amazing. I did a spend thirty get ten, a spend twenty get five. Got a lot of good products this week, and I only paid ten seventy eight out of pocket after all my ECBs and my I bought it and fetch offers. So I t I save a total between all four transactions two thirty one fifty seven. I had a total of 40 items. I paid 1078 out of pocket. 40 items at that cost, <clears throat> excuse me, makes each item only 26 cents each. Amazing. And it includes paper products. So I'm really excited about that. Pays 1078. I have 40 items, making each item only 26 cents each. You can't beat that, guys. So that was my haul for today at CVS. Like I said, I only had those issues with the Dove. Uh, printable on one on each account B, but I did receive a five dollar ECB on one card because they are not allowed to help with any issues like that anymore at this store. But I do appreciate her printing that ECB for me anyway today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was very helpful for you guys. And again, I am going back tomorrow to CVS to try and do the Bona deal at spend twenty get five, spend twenty get ten, and use my thirty two percent off CRT. So again, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful to see. There's not a lot going on at CVS, but there still are some really great deals to pick up this week. I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome to this channel, guys. Thank you all so, so much for subscribing to my channel. And thank you to all my old subscribers as well. Coming back each and every week. Watching my videos, sharing my videos, liking my videos. And doing all of that good jazz. You guys know I appreciate you all so much. I can't thank you all enough. And I'll see you guys in my next video.